Hello and welcome to the Daily Meal for Tuesday the 2nd of November 2021. There was a match day today and we got a good result. We won 1-0 against Reading. And um, let's uh, read this match report from londonfootballscene.co.uk. Mill will bounce back from Saturday's defeat at Huddersfield Town with a convincing 1-0 victory against Reading at the Den. Jed Wallace almost opened the scoring within five minutes with a 30-yard free kick, which was so well saved by Reading keeper Luke Southwood, while Benica Phoebe spurned two chances in the space of 10 minutes. Reading's best chance of the half came seconds before the interval, when Ovi Ijaria pulled his lower foot narrowly wide of the left-hand post. The game opened up in the second period, with Mill coming close to opening the scoring on the hour mark. As Ryan Lennon's cross looped over the southward only to be kept out by the woodwork. The Reading keeper was busy again moments later, denying Mason Bennett as he went through on goal. However, Mill did break the deadlock in the 71st minute as Jed Wallace found Lennon with a dink behind the defence with the latter putting it on a plate for a phobie to finish from a yard out. Reading couldn't muster much of a response and ultimately failed to muster a single shot on target against an impressive Mill side. Key points, the introduction of Mason Bennett and Scott Malone after the break made all the difference for Mill's attacking impetus. Yes, indeed. The first half was a bit, um, it was a bit lacklustre. The second half, it was all guns blazing. Bang, bang, bang. Absolutely fantastic. That, now, that second half, that is the Millwall performance. The Millwall way. Just stream, constant stream of attacks that we want to see at the den. So, when you're saying we want to attack, we want to be more attacking, that's what we're talking about. Like that. Uh, Millwall will be disappointed to have only won by one goal. Three points will be welcome, but the finishing was wayward at times. Not only that, but right at the end, uh, Jed Wallace threw. And he was running alongside Benekophobi. Should have, should have slipped it through to him. It would have been 2 0. But he, he wanted to have a crack and it uh, did not go in. So, what is preventing Millwall from performing like this every week? Finally, an attacking home display using a back five. Mm hmm. So, yeah, I think they started off with four at the back and then they changed it. Uh, he changed it at half time. Um, uh, Mason Bennett was absolutely fantastic when he came on. Um, yeah, Scott Malone as well. All very uh, interesting. Uh, man of the match, Ryan Leonard. Everything seemed to happen through him once he was moved to wing back, setting up the goal and coming close to scoring himself. Yes, Ryan Leonard was very good as well. Uh, this tweet of the match, much better second half. Felt like the first time we controlled the game and made chances. Leonard, man of the match, but Malone and Bennett change it for us. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Though, yeah. Referee watch, Gavin Ward. Bizarre decisions throughout. Gave both sides plenty to complain about. Not a textbook display from the official. The atmosphere, the second half performance lifted an edgy atmosphere in the den. And it's good response to a small number of boos after the half, half time whistle. Uh, verdict, we all turned it on the, the second half. We're probably their best 45 minutes of the season. A 1 0 scoreline is very flattering for the visitors who couldn't get close to the Lions. Yes, indeed. Um. They played like we did at uh, Huddersfield. It really was that bad. So the attendance, 11,004 with 962 Reading fans. Uh, the team, Biakowski, Leonard, Hutchinson, Cooper, Murray Wallace, uh, Miko Keft uh, Mitchell, Keftenbeld, Savile, Jed Wallace, Smith and Afobi. And at half time, for the second half, Malone came on for Kiftenbeld. Bennett came on for Smith. And right at the end, McNamara came on for a phobie. 
and the subs that weren't used were Long, Bradshaw, Ojo and Pierce. So there you go, interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, fantastic attacking display by Mill in the second half. That's what we want to. That is what we wanted to see. That is that is it. That's the, that's what we want, especially against teams like Reading. Can we do that against the the better teams in the league? Probably not. Probably not. But that's what we want to see against everyone else. There's no great. There's no fa after apart from three teams in this league. All the other teams are much of a muchness. Um, so here we go. This is from now. Gary Rowett didn't do the post match stuff. Uh, Adam Barrett did it. So there's nothing from Gary Rowett uh, today. Maybe uh, he was upset we didn't get a draw. Oh, no, I'm joking. Um, I imagine he had to get off uh, quickly somewhere. Uh, so, Mule assistant boss gives his verdict on 1 0 win over Reading and felt sub played a vital role. Mule assistant manager Adam Barrett shared his delight following Tuesday night's 1 0 win over Reading and helped substitute Mason Bennett for his role in helping them get back to the winning ways. Bennett and Phoebe struck the only goal of the game to send the lines up to 8th in the championship where they will once again sit just outside of the player places on goal difference. Millwall were booed off after a lacklustre first half performance, but a change of shape reverting back to 5-2-3 and a double substitution in the form of Bennett and Scott Malone proved to be the catalyst for a match-winning second half display. Uh, delighted with three points, said Barrett. We were disappointed with Saturday, but it's a tough division. It's very difficult and every game brings up a different challenge. But to come back home and put in a really good second half performance, we're delighted. It depends how you play the system uh, on the change in shape. I thought second half we were a lot more aggressive and the intensity of the press went up. Uh, Mason Bennett coming on and dealing with Josh Lauren was a big factor in it. He was excellent, Mason. Lauren in the first half was getting the freedom of the park to do what he wanted. And they've got good players in John Swift and Ovi Ajaria. When Mason came on and he stopped Lauren getting on the ball, all of a sudden people could back it up and the intensity of the press, press was there. We thought it was important at half-time to really stop Lauren from getting on the ball because he was the one making them tick. Our directness led by the front players was excellent and we backed it up all over the park. Billy Mitchell was superb in the second half and Hutchie, Jed Wallace worked his socks off again. Despite creating a host of chances in the second half, we all failed to find a second goal to kill off the game. But Barrett insisted that more goals will come if the Lions can keep creating the kind of chances they did against the Royals. We deserve to get more goals tonight, added Barrett. With the pressure and opportunities we've had, we'd like to be a little bit more clinical and taking them chances. But the main thing is to get a win. We're just hoping that if we can keep creating that number of opportunities, then we'll start scoring more goals. Okay, if you say so. Uh, moving on now to... Uh, the news at den.co.uk on their take on what Adam Barrett said after the game. But before we get into that, you can see the table on the right hand side there. Mill in eighth. Now we've gone up so far because half the half the teams, of course, did not play today. They're playing tomorrow. Half the league are playing on Tuesday. Half the league are playing on Wednesday. So I imagine we will probably drop down at least a couple to maybe eleventh again. So. Enjoy it while you can. We are eight, isn't it fantastic? So there you go. Um, Aaron, Adam Barrett's message for Benekophobi after Strikers' first goal in a mill win this season. Adam Barrett praised Benekophobi for his persistence after he scored his first goal since August in a 1 0 win over Reading. And the Lions' assistant urged the striker to build on that confidence boost. Phoebe scored the only goal of the game from Ryan Lenz crossing the 71st minute in the den. It was the on loan Stoke Ford's third goal of the season and first in a game that the Lions have won. We've spoken about it a lot and we've worked hard on it. The centre forward's getting in between the sticks, Barrett said. Bradders did it in the last home game with two little tappings. Bennett kept going and kept putting himself in there. Goal scorers want to score goals, so that would be a big relief for him and a confidence boost. I thought it was a fantastic move, great vision from Jed and a really good run from Ryan Leonard. We're delighted uh, with that and pleased for Benick, but the most important thing now is you've got to build on it. We want more and he'll be wanting more as well. Hopefully it's just the start of things and he can get on a good run. Barrett was asked about Wallace's performance. He said, Jed's been a very important player ever since I've been here. He gives us a spark going forward and he can produce something out of nothing. 
I thought his energy second half and intensity was superb. It sets the tempo for the other players behind him. I was really pleased with him, but it wasn't just him. It was Benick and Mason coming on, Billy Mitchell behind him, and then the guys at the back were very aggressive and front foot second half as well. He's a big player for us, Jed, and he gave us that spark. So there you go. A lot of good performances. Um, second half. First half, not so much. We'll see. We'll see in um, tomorrow's video, in the stats video, we'll see how they, they came off. Now, there was another game today, the under-23s, and they won. They won right at the end in injury time. They beat Watford 2-1. So that was a fantastic start to the day in the afternoon. Uh, last cast Lions to defeat Watford, I report, from Calmont Road. Seb Drozd, that's him there in the middle, the um, light-skinned brother. Scored a 91st minute winner as Mill under 23 came from behind to defeat Watford 2 1 in the professional development league at Calmont Road uh, on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Jimmy L. Chikukwa gave the Hornets an early lead at the Lions training ground, but Chin Ockley equalised further into the first half. Ockley had the ball in the net once more after the break, but found his head had disallowed for a foul. Before Droz taps home, the lively Nana Boateng's cross a minute into stoppage time to maintain their 100% home record. The Lions struck the bar twice through Ben Thompson in an uh, a eventful affair, while the Hornets also hit the woodwork at the post in the second half. Next up for Mill under 23 is a trip to Colchester United on Monday, the 8th of November. Next Monday, that's a 7 p.m. kickoff, and I believe at time of talking to you that it will be held at Colchester's ground, something community stadium, whatever it's called. I believe so far, uh, as I'm talking to you, that it will be 7 p.m. kickoff at their ground. Uh, the team was uh, right: Walker, Garande, Alan, Ockley. Topolog, Boateng, Thompson, Ben Thompson, Briscoe, uh, O'Brien, and Drozd. And one substitution, Abdul Malik, came on for Briscoe. And subs not used, Gilmore, Leahy, Smith, Adam, and Maliki. So there you go. Fantastic result for the, for the lads there. Um, very pleased there. Fantastic. Um, so what? What? What's, so here we go again. Another assistant speaking to the press. Um, we've had the uh, we've had Adam, Bar Adam Barrett doing uh, the post match interviews for the first team. We got Paul Robinson doing the post match interviews for the under twenty three. So what's he got to say? So Paul Robinson praised the Lions under twenty three side for going to the end during Tuesday afternoon's two one professional development league victory over Watford at Calment Road. Um, it was eventful, Robinson told MillFC.co.uk. Similar to the last home game in which the Lions had to, had to keep going to the end. Credit to them for that. The game became a little more open in the second half. We feel as though we've had most of the chances in the first half, but not capitalised. But the way for Chin. Uh, who will feel he could have done better for their goal to respond to going behind is to go and score himself, which he did. Thankfully, we've got the winner that we deserve. Ben Thompson started in the midfield uh, for Kevin Nugent's side, and Robinson lauded the quality and experience the midfielder brought to the table. Tomo is different class and a great influence on our group. It's been excellent for the young lads to have him, especially with more of our experienced players out of loan. He has a great experience in himself and to have him in the side is good for our lads to learn on. Here, here. Um, well done to Ben Thompson for um, not being too Billy Big Spuds to play for the under 23s. Uh, he's found himself out of favour in the first team, not even able to get on the bench. So good for him to stepping up and playing for the under 23 season, getting his uh, match fitness in there and getting involved in that. Um, a real professional footballer there. And uh, so there you go. That is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.